Hey guys, so as I'm sailing around out here, I figured I'd do a quick update on bartering and, you know, really focus on the focus on the grind and some tips and tricks along the way. I feel people just keep, you know, talking about, you know, how much you can make 500, 800 million a day freaking bartering and then really talk about, you know, the, the grind and the time commitment and, you know, how long it takes to get there. Um, so just kind of in terms of, you know, that's going to be the focus on this one. The, the grind per se, check out my items. So, Really, it's going to be broken down into four pieces. It's going to be the when you first get your sailboats, you're going to be looking at you know five to two weeks in terms of you know you build it, you sail from Velia, you get some monster oozes around here, you get your verdant black stones from the docks, you get like 120 of them, the tier one items, um, you exchange these for these verdant black stones. You're doing your Ravina's quest, and you know once you get your saps and your zincs and stuff all squared away, you're going to be looking at you know like five days to ten days, maybe a little longer depending if you're going to do the quest every day. And you get all and how long it takes to get your tier ones, you know, to turn into bird and black stones. Um, you're looking at like about you know about a week or two, um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on your dedication to it, to get your frigate to Gallius or your you know sailboat to Caravel. So. That's kind of the first step on the grind, the easy, easy, easier way in. The next step is you've got to, you know, as you're barding around, you got to, you can, be, you can make your, you know, green uh, material stuff and you're going to start working on your blue items via your sailing dailies. Uh, the sailing dailies you're going to want to be doing, even if you don't even have a caravel yet or, you know, other upgraded galleys, you're going to be wanting to doing these every day. And I've got a great video on that on the channel. Check it out. But... So these are going to give you all the items you need for your uh, Carrick upgrade, um, for the most part. And, you know, down in the workshop in terms of, you, in Aferia, you, you, you're going to be wanting to building your blue items. Because in order to get your Caravel, you're going to need plus 10 on the, on the blue front. So you can see here, you've got different, you know, different wood, seaweed and stuff. Um, most of these are going to come out of your sailing dailies. Some of them are, are going to come out of material barters. Uh, the tip here is when you're doing your material barters for um, like the blue pirate items or the uh, or those blue ore that comes out of there, you're going to be wanted getting more seaweed. Uh, because seaweed's kind of a, like a bottleneck and you can pick up two uh, usually with the leaves or the keys. So when you're going to be doing your uh, material barters, you're going to want to throwing these on your ships. From what I found, it's usually it's usually keys and it's usually leaves are, that, are, that are going to get you um, extra extra you know seaweeds. So you get, if you pick up like two a day while you're doing material barters, so that's kind of you know a tip while you're out there doing that. But so. The sailing daily you're going to be doing every day as you work towards your blue ship parts. The other grind is going to be, we'll call it the, the barter count grind. So you're going to need, the, in the top left where I'm almost at 4,000 barters, you're going to need 3,000 barters to, in order to upgrade to your Car Carrick with, the, you need 30 of the brilliant materials. So your brilliant pearl uh, things and your rock ingots. Um, and I've got most of the squared away now. So. And so you need your material barters to get 30 of these, and I'm pretty much just about there. Um, so that's kind of the other grind you're going to need to be doing. So the sailing daily is going to take you like an hour a day, and it might take you like a half hour to do a material barter run, to like to just grab the basics of, you know, you some extra seaweed, uh, those rock ingots, and maybe some of the other cobalt ores that you, that you can only get via bartering. So the other, the other ones you're going to grab is this one, and like maybe some of you, some of these two while you're out there out of material bartering. So, uh, so the last kind of piece on the grind is the I'll call it the crow coin guide grind. So, the crow coins uh, it really is one I slept on, and I recommend you guys kind of keep an eye on. So I already did a deep ocean run here. So the crow coins you're gonna need you need a little bit of them in the beginning to buy um, some frosted black stones to get your blue gear up. So you can see on my ship in a second. I've got, you know, th three of the ones up, so you're going to need um, some frosted black stones and some fiery black stones, and for what they look like, I think I have them on my alt. So these, you got your 
fiery and you're frosted and you know you you're looking at like 20 to 40 stacks once you hit like plus six to plus 10 on those um some people like to force plus 10 i didn't i used like 50 i could probably like 50 to 60 to get my plus 10s through uh and it went pretty well so that's kind of going to be you know when you start doing crow coins that's your first use of them but really if you're on console right now the big reason for the crow coins if you see people floating around the carracks are um, you need 45 of these tiers of the oceans, and so you need to buy like probably 15 to 20 of them if you're gonna need it. Want to you know to not spend another two months to get your carrick. So you get these from the Black Rust quest over at uh, Killer's Eye, and you get like two a week for the most part. We'll call it two a week. I think it's every three days. So you need 45 of these suckers, and so what that means is right now where I've got all the materials pretty much, maybe I'm like 10 days out on some sailing quest for you know the last blue, that last green ship part you just saw. So if I need to spend, you know, if I need 10 weeks to, to get, you know, those tiers of the ocean to get 20 more of those guys, we'll call it eight weeks because you can get some, there's a, if you, like every two weeks you can, or so, maybe 10 days or two weeks, you can, can there's a quest on the platform that gives you two. Um, but so we'll call it, you know, two, like two months really, if I'm doing the math right there. So you get like two a week. And yeah, like 10 weeks. So you look at two more months before you get the ship just because that quest is time gated. On PC, that quest is, I think, every day. So there's a little disparity between the PC, you know, progression on the Carrick and console. So you, if you want your Carrick, you're going to need to accelerate via. I thought I put these in my right there. They are. Um, so this they make money, by the way, is selling these tier five items I'm just putting in my inventory. They're worth five mil a piece down there. Um, and you sell them, and they're, you know, so this run right here is 40 mil. Um, I might keep one or two for future items. But anyway, back to the crow coins. Do I need a dragon? Let's throw it in there anyway. Um, so on the crow coin side, you're gonna need like 40,000 crow coins um, to, buy, to accelerate your timeline on the, I need a Carrick. And you're also going to need um, some crow coins in terms of accelerating yeah. how quick you get to um, your green carrick ship gear. So when you, you know, so the, when you get, eventually get your carrick, the green gear decide you have your, your caravel gear, gear and your um, other gear for your Galeus. The green gear is 10,000 coins for the caravel. So, you know, if you want to upgrade your gear, you're going to need those. Where's the worm? Um, you're, you're going to need to buy, you know, like 40,000 coins to save that. So off the bat, you're probably going to need like 100,000 crow coins to accept, to A, accelerate your sea, you know, your sea ocean tier thing. And if you're only on console and then to buy your green ship upgrade parts and this is where i slept on it because you know i was only doing the coven runs for like 300 silver or more and i wasn't even doing like any of these islands so now i've been you know i wasn't really earning enough coins it's maybe getting like three to five hundred a day if that and sometimes that is like too lazy to even go out here so what i what i recommend now is that i've been doing the last like few days is i do this one and this one at least every day and sometimes twice a day and that gets me like you know every time like three to four hundred coins maybe together sometimes more because this is 400 coins so that's 400 and 100 it's 500 but usually it's like you know anywhere from like 300 to 400 in total um and then i've been doing my deep sea runs so the deep sea runs is the one you really want to focus on it's going to be you know, 500 coins here at all these different spots, and then usually you get like a, th a 30 mil item out of the ship run. Sometimes this can be like 90 mil, and you won't see coins here. You just see these items that are worth 10 mil a pop. Um, and in terms of what that looks like, in terms of these items are, so when you look at these tier fives, and sometimes the menu bugs out here, which is really annoying, um, and I have to change channels. But we'll just run back to the story and drive for a second. So when you look at the tier fives, the ones from the deep ocean are worth 10 mil. Um, so when you sell them, First time here in Ilya Island. see here, nice I think that those you. top two that were from earlier, so it's 10 mil versus like a 5 mil. So the deep ocean ones, you can have like a 90 mil run where you get nine of them, three at three different spots. Um, so it's pretty good. But you want to be going out to the deep ocean 
at least once a day when you're doing your sailing quest for like four to five hundred coins. So that way, if you're looking at if you're looking at getting say five hundred coins from here, these two islands, maybe once or if you're doing it twice a day, like eight hundred, a thousand, and you're getting five hundred out of here, you can, you're going to average out like fifteen hundred coins a day, and that's going to slowly accumulate. So if you're doing that every day for like a, you know mostly a month, you can get to like the thirty, forty thousand range, which is going to let you either if you're on console, buy those ocean tiers, or if you're on PC, it's gonna let you buy the green ship parts after like bartering for a month, month and a half, if you're doing those regularly. So that's kind of where I feel the grind out there in terms of, you know, if you're looking at, you're looking at like a, a coin grind, like a thousand to like 2000 a day. Some people say you can get like 5,000 a day. I don't know how that's possible, um, but you know, that's what somebody told me. But I think for an average Joe person, you're looking at like a thousand to three thousand coins a day, depending on your luck at Hokoven. So hope that's helpful to some people, you know. And you're going to be looking at the forty forty thousand coins to the green ship parts, um, and then beyond if you want blue. But we'll we'll keep it at the green for now. And if you're on console, you're going to need you know like fifty to forty thousand to accelerate those ocean tiers, and then you're going to need another forty thousand to you know buy the green ship parts after that if you don't want to wait you know a month and a half two months out um or more to buy your ocean tears um and get that from the black rest quest because it's twice a week so take it easy guys i hope this is helpful to some people you know most people don't talk about the barter and grind so i'm kind of gonna shine some light on it uh hopefully help some people out take it easy adios